how does it feel? Hello everybody, it is I, Vegeta H1. Yes, this is going to be a rant video. Um, this is more so on the election in Britain. Um, it is the 14th of May, Friday, and I've only caught wind that Labour was kicked out, pretty much, yeah, grand, lovely jubbly, fuckers can't do any more damage, and then, of course, the fucking aegis that they put in there, wants a coalition government. Now, I can understand that the combined ideas of every party that are there, because they all specialise in their own areas. Okay, we all know that. Now, the problem I have is Labour. More so Gordon Brown. <coughs> He's a nutball. And the fucker that they replaced him with is an even bigger cock. But Labour didn't get in. The British people said, No, we've had enough of your crap. And voted in the new pack. But then the new pack turns around and says to the British people, Well, fuck you. Your vote counted for nothing. We want a coalition government. Where all parties have an equal say. How many times does your government have to pull the wool over your eyes before you realised you're being backstabbed. I, I'm seriously asking that question. Have you not come to realise the fact that over the last 12 years Labour has screwed over your country and the fact that you just voted them out means absolutely diddly squat because the new fuckers come in and say, yep, we want to join forces with Labour and the rest of them. I ask the question again. How many times does your government have to pull the wool over your eyes before you realise you're being backstabbed? And again, I will say you voted out Labour for a fucking reason. Because the last 12 years have been... Well, look at the recession. That's all I need to say. Look at the countless loss of jobs. The... I'm going to say the highest mark in unemployment your country has ever, ever seen. And I know I can't say much. I'm in Ireland. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing here. But, Labour screwed your country, and I think it's Ed Balls, I'm not 100% sure, that they placed Brown with, who is just a complete nutcase as far as I'm concerned. Gordon Brown, not Ed Balls, but Ed Balls is very, very close behind. And the fact that you voted them out means that they should be out of the government and have absolutely zero say about what goes on but for some reason you voted in a guy who wants to join forces with the same guys who screwed up your country how does this make sense how? I've... I'll tell you what, I've been on this channel called Liar Politicians on YouTube and I've been watching quite a few videos and yeah some of it can be taken out of context I get that but the way this is coming across to me is that 
Labour has bought out the new guys, or someone has bought out the new guys, to say, right, we want Labour in here and not us. So what's going to happen is, if you guys win, the new guys that are in there now, you're going to form some sort of coalition. And that is exactly what's happened. Just to get Labour back in the door, because they seem to have more thirst for screwing up your country. My question is now, why the fuck aren't the British people rising? And I dare actually call for rioting in, in Britain right now. Because, again, you have been fooled. Although I think the same could be as said for the Americans, and also the Irish, and quite a few other countries. But, nothing's being done. So how does it feel? How does it feel to have that dagger just sunk deeper into your back? I'd like to know from a few British people, a few United Kingdom citizens. United Kingdom, no, I suppose that would count Northern Ireland as well, but yeah, either way. <sighs> I really think people have got to wake up to the bullshit that's happening around the world. Not just in your own countries, but actually look at what's going on in, say, America, or Russia, or Australia, or Japan, or Germany, France, fucking Africa, Poland. And look what's going on inside their government. And I'm actually asking people to analyse what's going in on inside other countries' governments. And then take your government, or take their government, and paste it over your government, and see exactly what's similar and what's not. Because the way I take it, the new guy that, the, that you guys have voted in has, has said a lot of things about um, not importation, um, people coming into your company. Um, ah, what's the word? People coming into your country to find jobs, and y you know the word I'm speaking about. I, d I just can't remember it off the top of my head. But he said that he wanted to follow rules that were both in Canada and Australia. Which I find very odd, considering Labour said the exact same thing when they were voted in. Did they or did they not? If you can prove me wrong on that, please come forward with the information. And I would really like to point out that we can change things. Now, I'm not talking about the bullshit politician we can change things, oh yeah, we can change things by giving bankers bailouts and blah 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 blah, and then Greece of course goes flop and we have to bail them out. I'm talking about the change that you want, not about what they fucking want. You dictate to them, they do not dictate to you. How do people not grasp this? It is not the government that runs the fucking country. It is the people that order the government to run the country. Yes, you voted in the guys to make sure that you're safe and that your income is alright and tax is alright and yada yada yada. But at the end of the day, who has the final say? Because there's two versions to this. There's the government version of this, and then there's the citizen version of this. And the government will say, we make the rules. And the citizen will say, we tell what the government to fucking say, or what to do. You 
cannot let your government say we make the rules because they just don't and it has been like that for far too long I think I'll actually leave it there because I'm over the 10 minute mark and I kind of went off on a tangent but anyway I usually do that so yeah how does it feel your government has yet again pulled the wool over your eyes and you're sitting there doing nothing congratulations and we're out See you.